Let us start with this problem. Find the sample mean, variance, and the standard deviation of the data below. Now, student, if we look at our data, it was extracted from a certain population, for example, from 0 up to 100. And they've picked only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 samples. Therefore, n is equal to 6. Is that okay? Now, we want to calculate the sample mean, which is x bar, and is given by the summation of the x values or samples divided by the number of samples. Let us calculate the summation of the samples. So we start with a 2, a 5, 7, 8, 9, and 11. Let us get our calculators and we calculate the summation of the samples. Yes, the summation of samples is 42. Therefore, we shall conclude and say that our sample mean is given by 42 divided by a 6, and that is a 7. Now, they want us to calculate the sample variance. Sample what? Variance. And the sample variance is calculated from the formula. Sample variance is equal to the summation of the deviation squared out of the number of samples minus 1. The question is, what is the deviation? The deviation is the difference between the x values or the samples minus the sample mean. Is that okay? We are saying that the deviation is equal to the difference between the variable, the sample, that is x, minus the sample mean. Is that okay? Let us calculate the deviation. So, let us start with the 2. The sample is 2, and the mean is 7. So, the deviation is negative what? 5. We write a negative 5 in our table. Now, the next value of x is a 5 minus 7. The deviation is negative 2. So, let us pause the video and we calculate all the deviations. Is that okay? Is that okay, student? Now, let us calculate the deviation squared. Negative 5 squared is 25. Negative 2 squared is a 4. 0 squared is a 0. 1 squared is 1. And a 2 squared is a 4. 4 squared is a 16. Is that okay? Now, someone is saying, why is it that negative 5 is positive and negative 2 is equal to 2 squared. Yes, it is true. When we say negative 2 squared, we mean that we are squaring everything. Is that okay? Which is a what? A 4. Let us calculate the sum of the deviation squared. Get our calculators, please. Yes, the sum of the deviations squared is equal to a 50. And we said that if we want to calculate the sample variance, we say that S squared is equal to a 50 divided by the number of samples, which is 6 minus a 1. Therefore, S squared is equal to 50 divided by 5. So, we shall conclude that our sample variance is 10. Now, the examiner wants us to calculate the sample standard deviations. Is that okay? And by formula, the sample standard deviation or the sample errors 
is equal to the square root of the variance. Is that okay? Therefore, our sample standard deviation is the square root of 10. Uh huh. Student, what is the square root of 10? I'm waiting for the answer. Yes. Someone is saying that it is 3.162. Is that okay? Therefore, we shall give our sample standard deviation S 3.162 to 3 decimal points. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video for more about mathematics. Goodbye.